الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم Brothers, uh, I was kind of traveling and that's why I was kind of late and I have some talking problems on mind. Last time I gave a khatra and I mentioned about Hadith Qudsi. There are 40 Hadith Qudsi, they are uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came to Rasulullah sallallahu and his, in his words. It's not Wahi, it's not part of Quran, but it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, uh, there are 40, so uh, I cannot go, I wish I can go one by one, but uh, Another two weeks I'll be gone, so next time and I'll see. But one of the hadiths which kind of made me think, it's hadith number 32 out of 40. It's on the authority of Hadith Abu Huraira Rajallahu ta'ala. And it was, it is mentioned in Bukhari, Nasai, and Mahaja, or Maja, Ibn Maja. And Abu Huraira said that Rasulullah uh, mentioned this hadith that a man he sinned so much that every kind of sin he did in his life. And when he sinned greatly himself, and when his death came close, he thought, I'm going to die. He called all his sons and his final will, final desire, he said, when I'll die, burn me and then crush me and then spread the ashes, scatter the ashes in the sea for Allah. So, So what he did is, they did. Uh, so when he died, his kids burned him and spread in the sea. So otherwise, he, he so Allah said, once he died, ask the land to get out what you have. So he came and said, Allah SWT asked him that why you did this? His answer was that uh, I was so scared, I was afraid from Allah SWT, or from you, that how I'll answer my sins. So I thought you will not find me, I'll just kind of reserve everything, point, all over. So. But you found me. So, uh, because of this fear, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave him. Now, the thing is we all do sin. It's a human nature. So, all kind of sin, for example, we can lie, we do cheat. Sometimes we don't know and we commit a sin. Deceive. Lying is very common. From childhood, sometimes child asks for some sweet and lie, no, we don't have money or something, excuse. And these sins can accumulate. A Muslim too, Muslim or too, Iman is that we should have understanding, realization that one day we have to answer Allah SWT. This is a part of Iman. The first part of Iman is that we believe that Allah is there. And the second part of Iman is that we have to answer. As long as we have that sense, as long as we have that realization, 
then of course we'll ask for forgiveness, Tawbah. After every prayer, every day, because we don't know when we can die. Life is, can end any second. So, we'll ask for forgiveness. And Allah is the most merciful and He will forgive us. If we have this realization. So, this is the main message. May Allah give all of us this realization, this iman, this taqwa, this fear of Allah, that one day we have to answer everything which we do wrong, knowingly or unknowingly. And Allah will inshallah forgive us. Uh, I really miss all of you brothers. I was out for one week. I'll be gone another two weeks, uh, next two weeks, so pray for me. For the success, I remember I asked once, uh, you pray for me and I did a great experiment. <laughs> Thank you very much. Asla.